Don't mean I hate everything. <laughs> getting there. Yeah, I've certainly gotten to a point now where I have twice in a row made it to the last phase, <laughs> albeit really slowly. This is taking a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> it's all time that I'm not particularly enjoying. <laughs> Just want to get this done, really. <laughs> Actually, I need to go back to Godhome and um, slap the mantis walls around a little bit. See if I can get the um, ascended or whatever you called it, radiant um, mantis lords award on this. That was fun, and my hands were shaking when I did that because I actually thought I could do it. Sisters of battle. I know. I'm never going to get that though. The requirement's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, well, all you need to do is beat Pantheon 4. Yeah, don't don't word it all you need to do as if it's nothing. <laughs> you know perfectly well what that involves. <laughs> no, I'm implying that it's not as much as you think it is. Uh, yeah, no, because... it is. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> Come on now. Fine, it does require you beat Pure Vessel. Yep. And you need to defeat a lot of enemies in a row. And the problem is, as mentioned, like, I can't do any of this consistently. Like, I can beat these guys, but look how many tries it takes. Practice makes perfect. I don't have a whole I mean, lifetime. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how long it would take for me to practice this to get it to the point, um, well, that you're at, <laughs> effectively. It wasn't like that the first time I did all the bosses either. No, but you I and I boss rush mods to to get some practice in, I suppose. I, I really don't think that makes any difference. I think that you are very skilled and very awesome at this stuff, and I am not. It's not something that really I can improve upon to much extent. I believe you can. If you okay. can play first-person shooters with your broken hand, I think you can do anything. <laughs> do you know what? I thought I was doing brilliantly at Doom, and then I found out that I had a, a an option called um, Aim Assist switched on. Ah. <laughs> but that's fine. That it's there for that purpose. So. Well, he is starting to feel like an old friend. <laughs> I'm getting yeah, very... that sort of happened to me as well. Yeah. I absolutely hated Soul Master when I when I first did it as well. Yeah. But after doing all the other dream bosses and then getting to Soul Tyrant, I kind of had a fondness for fighting him over the other ones, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I probably will like this more than the other ones once I fought them, but. Uh... Yeah, I don't especially like this guy. Oh, ah, oh, stupid hand. <laughs> Fumbled. Ah, that caught you by surprise. I didn't expect him to do that. Oops. Speaking of uh, playing first person shooters effectively. Oh, hang on, here we go. Um, I. Ah. My step nephew asked me to play Fortnite with him on Switch. It's free to download, I didn't particularly want to play Fortnite, but gave it a go, and we played four and a half hours solid on it. That is too long. <laughs> was that your choice, or was that him? Oh, that was him. That was all him. 
But I mean, to be fair, I mean, he'd never played multiplayer on it. I mean, well, you know what I mean. I mean, it's, it's obviously multiplayer, but he never played with someone he knows. Mm. Got him! Yay! You did it! I knew you could do it! Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> oh, hello, look, I can talk to him. In my dreams, I could see it. The kingdom's salvation, a cure for the plague. The answer was in the soul that animates our bodies. Oh, I like that he's talking coherently now. <laughs> but the king, why? He opposed everything I did. His jealousy, his madness. By standing against me, he robbed me of my immortality. Okay, so this guy went a bit mad. He did, yes. Now the king and his kingdom are dead, but I will live forever. Um, you are by definition not living forever, mate. <laughs> Cheerio. Not sure where he went because he just kind of went in me. Worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you did it! Yay, I did it, everyone! Thanks for watching! <laughs> 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 like, subscribe! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am quite pleased though. It's, it's nice to get a thing like that out of the way so you never ever have to do it ever again. Mm. <laughs> Dark Vein! <laughs> no! Don't make me do it again! I take it I am just leaving this place now. You are, yes. Right. Did you say I right because you were going to say something um, else? Or did you say right Yes, I was. Right? I was trying to. I didn't actually see how much essence you got from him. Oh, yeah, me neither. Is there a way of telling? Or do I have yes. to go and start well inventory yeah uh, yes hmm right you need to beat lost kin oh oh <laughs> oh well not tonight i'm i'm pretty much done now mm. we'll head back to the stag station or bench a bench of some mm. sort. Yeah, a bench of some sort. You know, the kind. The, the kind that you sit on. Yeah, with a flat bit for your bum. Alright, uh, down here, I think. Um, yes. Yeah, I'm just thinking that that's there. I'm going to have to call the lift up. <laughs> These lifts remind me of my uni project. I did a lift, a couple of lifts in that, because I built a, a game with a working level, and all the lifts had cogs that turned as they as they moved. Mm. And uh, I was really pleased with that because I rigged them up so they actually did move. Like I didn't have to animate it when I moved the lift up and down; it automatically turned all the cogs. Mm. We're fun. we're rescuing a grub. Okay, we rescued it. End of record. <laughs> Why have you gone silent? <laughs> You're still recording. Yeah. I know. I thought you wanted to save space and stop recording, but never mind then. Oh no, you you're right. Let's <laughs> let's save space. We're heading we're heading for somewhere that we can get lots of geo next. So, let's go. Did we find a thing? We found a wall that can be broken. Ooh, what could be through this wall? I bet it's a load of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's something's ass. Nice one. Uh... <laughs> Literally the best thing you can find in all of. I don't know. You can. The butt. You can tickle the butt of something. We'll find out what in a minute. <laughs> Let's carry on up to the top and find out who we were just pleasuring. Sorry, I meant harassing. <laughs> oh, come here, come in. They're probably my least favourite enemies. They're so annoying. Yeah, those things are jerks. Yeah, they always have. A, they have a real knack of always hitting me as well. They're just always at the right trajectory to just. I never dodge it. I always get hit. Yeah. Well, the three bullet spam. Of course, they're going to hit you. Yeah, uh, I'll come back jerks. to that. Yeah. 
Ah, we traded projectiles. Ah! Uh. Oh, come on now. Got him. Climbing ever higher. You can actually see him in the background as well, snaking oh, yeah. around. Ah, ow. Oh, there's another one chasing me. Go on, Grim, get him! Grim child. Grim Junior, not quite Grim yet. Grim JR. <laughs> the music stopped, and now we can hear humming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that he can hide his face like that. I love the design, the character design in this. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, what even is this? I like the fact as well that his entire face blinks. Oh, yeah, <laughs> because he can hide his face. <laughs> Warm, tiny thing, you climb high. Seek the knowledge of these lands. Bardoon. Oh, do. Yeah. This ashen place is the grave of worm. I mean, worm? Really? I mean, is that like as in dragon? <laughs> or is that as in like actual worm? Because I don't know. Anyway, once told, it came to die. So some... Well, it's sort of, it's sort of an actual worm. I mean, he'll tell you more about what worm is. Hmm. Kind of. Um. It's an ancient being, for one. Yep. Yeah. And it was, it's presumably absolutely gigantic. Well, uh, yes. I think you've seen the worm in... Uh, isn't it, isn't that where the um, arena is? That's where the arena is, uh, the back of the arena. Yeah. And also where you get the King's Brand as well. Yeah. Oh, well that's, but where the King's Brand is, is, is a shell that it shed. Because it's not where, it's not in the same location. It's here, it's in the same... It's in no, King's. The worm, the worm is massive. Hmm. I'll show you something. But Bardeen will tell you more about it. Yeah, it's so... absolutely huge. So it's thought that the head is where the King's brand is. Yeah. And then its butt is where the arena is. See, I thought so, it was. I thought it was the other way around. Just because it's oriented like that, like the head isn't always on top, you know. No, I'm not saying that. I mean it. it, it <laughs> The, the arena literally looks like a head. It doesn't look like a tail. It looks like a skull. So does so does the bit where you get the ki the king's brand. Disagree. It does. No. You can't check it no. because it gets closed off. Ah. Damn it. Well, we can, I suppose you could. Okay, okay. If you're watching this, check out the episode where we go to get the king's brand. <laughs> the one it's, where we beat Hornet too. It's Hornet too. Yeah, and uh, and confirm or deny <laughs> is is tail or head. This failed kingdom is product of of the being spawned from that event. So yes. the, the worm. So essentially, the the worm came here to die, and instead it just reincarnated as something else, which is why it cast off its old form and made the cast off shell. Is it you bothering about my tail? Rest is somewhat disturbed, but I find that sensation not unpleasant. Mm, uh, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oi, oi. Okay, so I've got the King's Brand. The mark of the worm you bear. Is it change you seek? Or to save this ruin? The choice is yours. Always the smallest creatures that attempt the largest things. Yeah, you're massive and you're just sitting there, matey. This falling ashes molt. The worm's corpse decaying. Ugh. Endless. Serene. Sad. Don't breathe it in. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading the... um. The hunter's notes for for one of the diseased creatures, and he's like, "Once you've killed these, don't eat them. They taste horrible." <laughs> <clears throat> so he's not a worm. Too small. No, too small. Too many limbs. What's he then? A caterpillar or something? I don't know. No foresight either. Ah. <clears throat> oh yeah, I read somewhere else. Somebody else said something like, "Oh, it was. I think it was the, the mushroom thing in the mushroom place." It said something like. What good is it to foresee an unavoidable event? Mm, yeah. So yeah, what good is it to see an unavoidable event? Hmm. High up. Can't avoid it. Away from simple minds lost to light. So the 
the yellow disease that everything seems to be suffering from, that the original vessel is being used to house, appears is always described as light. Mm. Theirs is a different kind of unity, rejection of the worm's attempt to order. So he feels that they're almost willingly becoming infected because it unifies them? But mm. also a mind bereft of thought. So they're choosing to become... I suppose they're like a hive mind. Like yeah. the, the disease is controlling them. Yeah, I don't think they're choosing to. It's, um... Hmm. Yeah, that's a difficult one. I don't think they do really choose to. They're just regressing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Union it may offer, but also a mind bereft of thought. To instinct alone, the bug is reduced. But they are active. Be on your way then. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, sorry. <laughs> you can dream now him as well. Oh, oh, I don't think he likes it though, does he? No, he is aware that you're doing it. Yeah. So obviously he has like some power. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's a fairly unknowable thing, isn't he? Like, he seems to be something. <laughs> oh, let's go and grab the uh, these life juice or whatever they're called. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> right, on to the next thing. <laughs> 